Hi students, this question is from 2011. It's a two marks question. I'm going to read out the statement first. An 8KB direct map write back cache is organized as multiple blocks, each size of 32 bytes. The processor generates 32 bit addresses. The cache controller contains tag information for each cache block comprising of the following one valid bit one modified bit and as many bits as the minimum needed to identify the memory block mapped in the cache what is the total size of memory needed at the cache controller to store metadata that is tags for the cache okay so they are saying you have a direct mapped write back cache of 8KB. You know what is direct mapped. That means our physical address is split into three fields. Also, we have discussed direct mapping in a great detail in our theory lectures. I've also discussed this topic, write back cache. You know caches are of two types, write back and write through. Write through caches when the change which CPU desires to make is done in all the level of caches at the same point. That means one update will be done in L1. Say this is CPU. That update will be done in L1 as well as L2 as well as L3 and main memory at the same time. Such a cache is called a write back, sorry, write through cache. And write back cache is one in which the change is do only done on the closest level. That means if you want to update something in L1, you will update it and L2, L3 and main memory will not be changed at that time. So when will the changes propagate to L2, L3 and main memory? When we wish to replace that particular block from L1. Okay. For that purpose only, we maintain this metadata like valid bits, modified bits. There are also some other type of bits, uh, the replacement bits, etc. We have discussed all those bits and their meanings. The important one here is modified bit or dirty bit. That will tell you if some block is modified or not. If CPU has ever modified it, then while you replace it, you'll also copy it into L2. Okay. Similarly, it will be copied in main memory when it will be replaced from L2. Okay. Let's now discuss our question. They are saying if these two bits are required along with the tag bits for every cache block, how much memory is required for tag directory? Okay. Let me just read the last line. What is the total size of memory needed at cache controller to store metadata? It's actually the tag directory only. Okay. So your cache is 8KB and block size is 32B. That means number of blocks in cache will be 8KB divided by 32B. Okay. So this will be 2 raised to the power. 13 divided by 2 to the power 5. Okay. That will be 2 to the power 8, which is 256. Okay. Which means total number of lines or blocks in cache is 256. It also implies that this field line number will be of 8 bytes. Processor generates 32 bit addresses. That means physical address is a 32 bit address. Okay. This in total will be 32 bit. Actually processor generates logical addresses, but don't go into that detail. What they mean by this line is after converting a logical address, we get a physical address, which is 32 bit. Okay. That's from the perspective of operating systems. Now we are worried about physical addresses only. So this data is uh, corresponding to physical address. And there are 32 bytes in a block. Assuming memory is byte addressable, 
you will get to know that five bits will be required for identifying one word out of these 32 that means block offset will be five bits block offset is used for identifying one word out of the block so out of total 32 words we'll use five bits to identify one okay now we have 256 blocks or caches uh, or lines in cache that means 8 bit address will be required to identify one line so line number field is 8 bits 5 plus 8 is 13 32 minus 13 will be 19 so tag is 19 bits in length this is the tag field within some address generated but along with this tag field this tag field corresponds to this part of the question along with this we are also saving two extra bits so that means the tag that is saved in cache directory will be of 21 bits okay so tag info will be 19 plus 2 is equal to 21 bits okay now you have 256 lines and you very well know with each and every cache line we save some tag information bits we have 256 cache lines one tag information data is of 21 bits so in total size of tag directory will be 256 into 21 that is your answer tag directory size will be 256 into 21 256 is total number of lines 21 is size of one tag bit sorry size of one tag information that is associated with a line so this will be six ones are six okay so this number will end with six let's see if there's some option ending with six actually you have two so option c and option d so let's solve it anyways 256 into 2 will be 512 so this will be 512 0 plus 256 will be 5376. So your answer is 5376. These many bits of data will be required in tag directory. So yeah, that's correct. Option D 5376. Okay.